I'm standing in the middle of what used to be pasture and is now planted with a combination of mulberry, black locust, nut pine. We haven't mown in this particular area, which is to be filled with grasses. And what you're looking at right now are ostrich ferns or fiddlehead ferns, which when young in the springtime provide a very uh, nutritious and antioxidant rich vegetable. We had no idea this was happening. All we did was not mow. And you can see a sea of these plants They are replacing the grass, which is particularly ideal for the insertion of perennial trees or shrubs. Because when these perennials are introduced into a grassland area, the competition from the grass is requires a lot of attention, either by creating mulch with wood chips, preventing the grasses from outcompeting the young trees. But when you allow succession to occur in what actually wants to be a woodland setting, as we have here in northern Vermont, what you'll get is um, plants that emerge quite on their own that replace the grasses, which is fantastic if you want to plant trees. What a lot of uh, the modern agricultural mindset would want you to believe is this is fallow land or this is useless. In other words, useless for animals, for animal fodder, for animal feed, but it is absolutely rich for native species of birds and rodents and insects. And it's, it presents a perfect opportunity for introducing perennial trees, especially oak, as we've seen the oak and the, uh, the ferns have a very friendly synergy. So, Planting trees in a setting like this where the grasses have already been outcompeted by the ferns, it's a perfect timing using natural succession and time in the equation of restoring degraded pastures or restoring pastures that were once used for animal agriculture and now can be used for a multiple uh, perennial trees like acorns, chestnuts, mulberries, apples, anything that can uh, thrive in your particular ecosystem. And that's my dog you're hearing in the background, Louie. Knock it off, Louie. <laughs> uh, big baby. Here we are in the mountains of Vermont um, with an amazing food source and also a perfect set of conditions for planting additional perennial tree crops.